Okay, hello. So this is the uh, fourth video in chapter two. So in this video, we are going to change our topic totally. And I will start with another example. As I said in the, at the end of the previous video, we will start from the conditional probability. Okay, so here is a story. Suppose that you are the CEO of a smartphone manufacturer, or I would rather change, the, change it to an automaker, electric car makers CEO you are. And you are concerned about defective batteries. These days, I see news about uh, like a battery fire on, like fire on battery in, at, in a electric car, and I own two electric cars. So, uh, like, okay, I will update the example next year. Anyhow, suppose that 60% of batteries are domestically produced and 40% of batteries are imported. And uh, we are going to use this notation. D means battery is domestically produced, domestic battery. And D complement is uh, an imported battery, of course, right? Non-domestic. And F means a battery is defective, right? Some battery, the battery has a problem, okay? So that is, so basically we are, we have two information. D is where the battery is produced and F is the quality of the battery, okay? And here, what you have as the CEO, what you know is that 2% of domestic batteries are defective, but the, among, but the imported batteries are 7% defective, right? So domestic batteries, suppose domestic batteries are better quality. And so we have these information, right? Notation and information uh, like this. You'd like to translate those information into statistics, right? How can you summarize, especially this information? How can you do that? Of course, it's conditional probability. What kind of conditional, how, which conditional probability exactly uh, you write for them? Think about that. Translation question. Okay, so... Uh, the answer is, so 2% is the probability if the battery is domestic, right? So you can imagine the experiment like this. You choose one random domestic battery. So when you choose a random battery, you know that it is domestically produced. And then you test, test if the battery is defective or not. The main event, the main probability is whether it is defective or not but the condition is domestic, right? So condition is domestic and main, uh, main event is F. The other side, imported battery, D complement, right? So uh, the condition is imported, which is not domestic, right? Not domestic, given that a battery is not domestic, then what is the probability of F? So the answer is C. C is the right answer uh, to, to interpret, to translate the sentences into statistics. Okay, so uh, this is the starting point. So as I said, the given information is in terms of conditional probabilities. From here, the probability you'd like to know is actually something different, right? So let's think about that. Uh, what we would like to calculate is not the condition. So we have UCO get these uh, reports, reports about uh, uh, the domestic battery and imported batteries defect rate. But what you actually care about is overall defect rate, right? So as a CEO, consumers don't know, do not care about the battery is defective or not, like domestic or imported. But more important is whether it is defective or not. And also, you may be interested in the probability of domestic batteries among that has a problem, right? So, we will see uh, these, uh, we will learn how to calculate these probabilities based on the information you just got, conditional probabilities, okay? Uh, and more fundamentally, so calculating these two is one thing, but more fundamentally, if you 
can fill in those four numbers. If you can have the full joint distribution table, then you know actually everything. There are only four types of batteries, and if you can calculate the probability of each type for four different types, then you know every possible event like based on this information. So more fundamentally, we would like to recover this table. Joint probability distribution table is what we want uh, more fundamentally. Okay. How do we do that? Uh, I'm going to show you. So in the end, I'm going to derive a formula, which is what textbook does. But before going there, I'd like to show you the idea. It is, again, an imaginary uh, experiment, right? So I will think about this. So I will use a tree diagram method, which is what I call. Uh, suppose that you have, you observe a certain number of experiments, right? Here, experiment is randomly choosing a battery and test if it's defective or not and check where it is produced, okay? So you can set up just how many, like the, the sample size. You may choose simple number like 1,000, 10,000, million, billion, whatever, for simplicity of calculation. So here, I will assume that I will imagine that I am going to test 1,000 batteries, right? One, I am going to randomly choose a battery and test it and repeat that 1,000 times. That's what I'm going to do in my mind. And according to the given probabilities, so I already got the probabilities, I'm going to classify the results into different uh, trees, right? So I'll look at this. First, uh, the first part of the information is 60% are domestic and 40% are imported, right? They are unconditional probabilities, right? So I assumed uh, 1,000 products, right? I assume that I repeat the test 1,000 times, and then according to this unconditional probability, 60% will fall into domestic area, and the other 40% will classify it as imported, right? So if you test 1,000, 600 will be domestic and 400 will be imported. You make two different piles of electric cars or smartphones, depending on where their batteries are made. Okay, simple, okay. And then I will continue using conditional probability. Now, come to this pile, like a pile you have, pile of only domestic batteries, right? And then you know that they are all domestic batteries. So 2% of them are defective which means 2% out of 600 is 12. So if you test 600 domestic batteries, 12 of them would be classified as defective, and the other 588 would be classified as non-defective, right? So you make two separate piles again within this pile. So separate them into domestic defective and domestic non-defective. Right? But remember that we are doing this only on domestic batteries because this conditional probability requires a condition that the battery is domestic. So it applies only to this pile because it does not apply to the imported batteries. The import, for the imported batteries, probability should be different. Different conditions should be applied. Right? Now, for this pile, for these, uh, the defect rate is 7%, right? And because there are 400 batteries, 7% of them is 28, right? So if you inspect 400 in your mind, then you can imagine that 28 of them would be defective according to this probability, right? That means the other 372 would be okay, will be good. So in the end, you get four different uh, piles, groups. You like uh, starting from 1,000 
like uh, batteries, you divide them into four different types like these and you know how many of them will fall into each category, right? That means take these numbers as data, imaginary data, right? So, <clears throat> so uh, you like here, for example, how can you calculate the probability of F? Like, think about it. I just, I did almost everything, so I believe you can just guess what you need to do for the next step. The idea is, so there are four different types of batteries, but you are interested in, you are interested only whether it's in defective or not. So defective batteries are these guys, the first one, first type, or the third type, this or that. So total, out of 1,000 batteries you inspected, you are going to get 12 plus 28 batteries total. So uh, you are going to get 4%, right? More fundamentally, you may recover this uh, frequency distribution table. As I said, there are four different types, which can be written as two by two table. So defect, uh, domestic and defective, imported and defective, uh, uh, domestic and good, and imported and good. So we put those numbers into the corresponding place, right? So we get this table, and you know how to handle this table, how to calculate unconditional probability, pretty easy. Sample size is 1,000, right? Because you start, started from 1,000, that's obvious. Out of that, after inspection, a lot of inspections, you find 40 in, like defective batteries, that's 40 out of 1,000, 4%. This is how you recover unconditional probability, joint probability uh, from conditional probabilities, okay? So, I think this tree method, drawing a tree, is pretty intuitive. The problem is textbooks do not use this tree, right? So, they only derive the, the, the formula, so it's really hard to imagine what's going on. So, let me go the other way. We know the number, final numbers, and we will trace back where those numbers are from. Okay, so we got 40 divided by 1,000. That is calculated this way, okay? So out of 1,000, that's sample size, and defective batteries include two different types, domestic defective and imported defective, okay? So domestic de defective batteries, 12 is from 2% of 600, and 28 is obtained from 7% of 400, okay? Right? So, this is how we got these numbers. Then now let's think about 600. Where is it from? How did we get 600? We get 600 because there are 60% of batteries of, like 6% of batteries are domestically produced, right? So out of total number, 60% are domestic. So that's how we get uh, 600. Similarly, 400 is calculated as 40% of 1,000. That is, uh, this is proportion of imported batteries given in the information, right? So these are the numbers we, so 2%, 60%, 7%, 40% .00 are the numbers we begin with, right? So 2% <clears throat> is conditional probability. Defect rate given domestic. 60% is probability of domestic batteries. 7% is conditional probability of defect batteries given imported. And 40% is probability of non-domestic batteries. So those four numbers have their own like meaning. But the problem is 1,000. What is this? It means nothing. It's just your choice. You chose 1,000. I chose 1,000. Because I know it's it'll be it'll help to do the algebra. Numbers will be simple, like 600, 400, 12, 28, simple numbers. But if you choose like 100, it will be 100. If you chose 10,000, you are going to get 10,000 here. 
anyhow, it will be cancelled out. In the end, it does not matter. 1000, no matter what number you choose, it does not matter. But as I said, so when you choose this number starting point, you better choose a number that will make your algebra easier, right? So that's my tip. And in the end, if you cancel them out, you are going to get this guy. This is the formula you are going to see from any textbook, right? So like this is the formulation, right? So B, B is overall probability, uh, unconditional probability of B. And given this condition, given different conditions about B, like if B happens, you know probability of A. If B did not happen, then you know probability of A, which may be different from the previous conditional probability. So uh, in here, like using these information, exactly this is the information we just got, right? Right? Probability of domestic batteries. Probability of defective batteries in domestic batteries, right? Or imported batteries. And then the overall defective rate is this. Okay? Right? So compare this with this. Same thing. I just changed the notation. Right? How do we inter interpret this? The idea is we may think it as a weighted average, right? So in the end, we would like to obtain a unconditional average. But what we have is two subgroups, like domestic batteries, imported batteries. There are so assume that there are two different groups, two different categories. So we observe. Uh, probability of one group and probability of the other group. We are going to weight these two using some weight. Like so, overall probability is uh, probability of a group weighted by something plus probability of the other group weighted by something else, right? And what we say here is those weights should be the probability of the corresponding group, right? So if so, defective rate is weighted average of defective rate within domestic batteries plus de defective rate of uh, imported batteries. But you have to put some weights. The weight is the ratio, the proportion of domestic and imported batteries, which makes sense. Okay. So this is how we recover unconditional probability from uh, conditional probabilities. Uh, then I will ask you one another question and uh, you just try this. You can start from the very beginning again or you can just use those numbers. Uh, try this by yourself and then come back to the next question and uh, next video. I will start with this question in the next video. See you.